Welcome back to Ryan Campbell Soup to Nuts! On this excellent episode of this guy right here and his cuckoo brain. Obviously, I uh, got the truck behind me. We're doing a little uh, truck action before it gets too damn cold to be outside working on some damn metal. All right, so uh, we're going to be doing some truck work. You are tuned in to Ryan Campbell, Soup to Nuts. As you already know, we're doing the... Uh, Good old working on the Cummins. Working on the good old Dodge Ram Cummins diesel. That's not what it sounds like. That's what that's what an unhealthy one would sound like. That's idling like crapola. Like not good. Like he he he's idling not good. He daddy. He daddy. He's he's not idling good, daddy. No, no, no good idol. No. No, no good. No, no, no good. Uh, uh, we, I, we, I, I say we a lot, but I mean, it's, I'd appreciate some help. You know, I'd appreciate an extra set of hands in terms of good old wrenches. But it's just, it's just this guy here. Uh, I'm going to be replacing the pitman arm and the stabilizer arm underneath that I'll show you in a second. And I also... Thanks, car. And I also have to uh, test to see if, I don't know if I'll do it on camera or not, but test to see if the throttle position sensor is bad or malfunctioning. Uh, so with a voltmeter, and go, there's a little bit of a process that, you know, it's supposed to have like a range of certain volts, you know, when you, when you twist it, when you turn it. This is how it, this is how it looks. <laughs> Uh, so let's go under there. Grease everywhere. But we're replacing this arm. It's not here. And it's not here. I have to come off of this arm I'm replacing. And then over here. I'm replacing this guy. I know we're a little tight here, but we're replacing this guy. So there's there's uh, two bolts. You can kind of see one here. There's another bolt up a little higher that I got to pull off. And then this guy here pull off and replace. And because uh, uh, they're kind of bad, I don't know if I can wobble by hand, but I need more leverage to wobble by hand. But this guy whoosh, rip out and replace. And this guy rip out and replace. As a, uh, I'm an angel. I'm an angel. I'm an angel, mommy. <laughs> As Chris Fix would say, out with the old and with the no. He hasn't. He doesn't sound like an idiot like me. He sounds like a normal person. But you're not watching a normal person. There's um, even when I'm on, even when I'm on my meds, I'm still off my meds. That's just how. That's how this whole thing works. That's all. It's, that's why. That's the glue that holds this whole operation together. Bunch of meds. Alright, I know this is uh this is as fun uh, performance stuff that you normally see with the 350Z. You know, obviously watching you know somebody do some performance stuff the car is a little more exciting than you know standard maintenance crapola. But I'll I'll do my best to keep it interesting for ya. How about that? Not about that. Okay, deal. Do what you have, my deal. Deal. Time lapse time, baby. Alright, 
So I realized when I was doing the uh, Pittman arm and the stabilizer arm under the truck that I had the time lapse set up with the camera and the battery went dead. So I got a bunch of it, but you didn't see the full finished product in the time lapse. So I'm going to show you underneath right now, even though I'm kind of pointing up on my thumb. We're going down. You're going down, mother effer. You're going down. Down. Diggity down. All right, so there's the uh, one arm here that I replaced. Uh, so this is the new one, new guy on there. Got the, uh, I don't know if you can see on camera. Uh, there's a grease fitting on top of that joint there. Got it all filled up with grease. And here's the other arm. You can see where it bolts right there, that nut. That's the arm. And there's the grease fitting right on the bottom here. So I got all that bolted up and uh, got that grease packed out too. As you can see from the footage that I just showed you, I got both arms on and they're good to go. And obviously the truck's jacked down onto the ground as well. And I'm all cleaned up here. I'm a dirty, I'm a dirty boy though. I'm, I'm very, I'm very unpure. No, no, I'm not. I'm not a pure person. I'm not. Uh, uh, Jesus, save me, Jesus! <sighs> Hi. <laughs> All right. So, um, next you will uh, witness. I'll show you next part of this uh, video here. I'll show you. I uh, check out the. Uh, I'm gonna check out. The uh, I'm gonna check out the uh, I'm gonna check out the um, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh boy, 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 oh I'm going to check out the throttle position sensor, I'm going to test it with the voltmeter and uh, see if that's good or not, see if that's causing me a problem or not. Uh, if it is, uh, I'm going to replace it, and if it isn't, uh, I'm going to do some more troubleshooting and uh, I'll do a little online research too to kind of help point me in the direction that I need to be going. Okay? <laughs> okay! I'm out here freezing my good old nuts off. Working on the uh, truck here. You can see the truck right here. This is the truck. This is the truck. I got the pitman arm and the stabilizer arm done underneath and I did a couple other little tiny things but I got those two big things done underneath and I'm freezing my goddamn nuts off because it's basically winter at this point and I'm not a fan not a goddamn fan so I'm checking the one last thing the uh, throttle position sensor which I got the cover off I got the whole bracket off and everything I'll show you uh, up close in a second and I tested it out I think it's actually okay so I'll show you what it shows in the voltmeter, how I have it set up and everything in a second. And um, so I guess I'm going to have to do further testing or figure out some other crap later on. Uh, but I'll probably, that'll probably be another video or something like that. I'm going to wrap up this video on this. And these goddamn sirens in the background need to freaking go kiss my goddamn ass. They've been two, two fucking hours. Like, woo, woo, woo. Shut the f*** up. I hope somebody's dead. Somebody better be dead with Cyrus for two goddamn hours. I, I, I don't actually want people to be dead, but... You hear this shit? I hope it's, I hope it's coming out on video on camera. I really do, because it's annoying as shit. Alright, I'll give you a close-up of what I'm uh, working on here. There's no actual throttle body on the uh, diesel here, on the truck, but this is the uh, throttle cables. I think I'm not sure. I guess one's a return, one's might be a cruise control. I'm not positive on everything. One's like the regular throttle cable. You hit the pedal inside, and it pulls it. 
type of thing. Uh, you can see it rotates. And then on the other side, let's see if I can get a good view here for you. Here we go. This right in front of my thumb, the, the, the thing with the white sticker on it, that's the actual sensor. Uh, those two screws hold it onto this big ass bracket. And you can see the wire with the plug coming into the bottom. This is the uh, sensor I was testing because this goes bad. The computer doesn't know where your throttle is and, you know, doesn't know where your throttle is. It, all sorts of crazy shit can happen. So I'm going to set you up on the uh, voltmeter. I don't have the voltmeter properly plugged in yet, but I'm going to set you up looking at the voltmeter. Basically what I'm going to do is I have, um, you see the... Uh, black wire from the voltmeter going to the ground of the battery and the negative from the battery and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna pierce into one of these, these blue wire here so you, so you can see this, this wire here and that will give me the voltage as I turn it so I'll turn it and you'll see the voltage go up and down uh, so but I need two hands to do that and I'll, I'll set up the tripod on the voltmeter so you can see what it's doing and then I'll come back and wrap things up and tell you what's going on. The light's kind of refracting off the screen. That's what I'm seeing on the camera screen. So the light's kind of refracting and looks kind of wavy. But hopefully you can see what I'm dealing with. I got it plugged in now. So it's about almost 0.5 volts. Which is what it's supposed to be when it's closed. When you, know, you don't have your foot on the pedal basically. And you'll see I'll, I'll, I'm going to slowly twist it. To basically it's kind of like slowly press it. I could do it inside the car but... Um, I got the bracket off and everything, I have to kind of do it right like this, but but basically I'm going to simulate slowly pressing on the uh, on the gas pedal. It's not gas, it's a diesel truck, but on the fuel pedal. And that's like foot to the floor right now. So I'm going to slowly let it go down. It's like slowly letting off the pedal. All right, you uh, saw the meter, so I think the um, throttle position sensor is actually okay. So there's some other problem uh, I have to figure out. I don't know if I'm gonna do it now because it's cold, and I don't like the goddamn cold. The cold could go f itself. Uh, so that basically wraps up everything with the truck for now. Uh, I don't drive it too, too much in the winter anyway. And the winter is upon us. Um, so I got the uh, stabilizer arm done, got the pitman arm done. They seem to be okay. I took it for a spin. It you know, seems to be doing the trick for the problem I was having. Uh, it's basically kind of giving me a, <clears throat> a clunk. Every time I came to a stop, it would freaking give me a little bit of a clunk. So it seems to be good now. Um, that's kind of going to wrap up for the truck for the meantime. And uh, the next videos are going to see a bunch of 350 stuff. I got a lot of bunch of stuff going on. I'm starting to get cracking at that. And we're still really starting to get freaking things together on that girl. Can get her ready for springtime. Take it to the tuna. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to park the truck. Uh, it drives somewhat okay, but... Uh, I drive the Murano pretty much most of the time, so that's that's where that stands, and uh, that's 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 what I'm doing. That's, that's where that's where it's at. That's where the action's at. Yeah, so you know what? I'll, I'll close the hood for you. Yeah. What do you guys say about that? Huh? 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 Uh, so next up, 350Z action. Next video is coming shortly to your screens. Don't forget to, down here, give me a good old subscribe, thumbs up, comment, uh, tell me I'm awesome. I want to hear that I'm awesome. Give me the good word. And uh, don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Tumblr, uh, and Snapchat. Everything, I'm soup to nuts. Uh, mostly on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to get a hold of me, DM me on Instagram. Uh, I got a bunch of cool videos on there. Check me out there. You'll uh, you'll get a good chuckle. I'll I'll give you. A, I guarantee you a good chuckle. That's that's what I'm here for. Chuckles. They call me chuckles. But in the meantime, check me out there. Another video coming shortly. And don't forget to drive fast. Take.
Tschüss.